Hello and welcome to GM Talks for another Olympiad episode. And if for you who watched the video last time, uh, I didn't die. I just got some some uh, <laughs> uh, news that was not so good. Um, I'm gonna explain in a little while. First of all, let's get it over with. Uh, we bounce back with a 4-0 win against um, Angola. The Danish team, uh, they, they they did what they were supposed to do against Zambia. They just crushed them. There was no discussion. There was no uh, messing up or anything. Good opening, good openings, uh, good middle games, and we're winning. Boom. That's how it should be. Today we are playing that. We are, we should win that match too. So. You hear, heard it here. Heard it here first. Um, and I'm not going to show the Danish team's uh, ma- uh, games. I don't think. Well, they were. Well, you could say they were instructed, but there was another game, and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to show it because I uh, spent the, most of the day in the press center. The Olympiad is, a, is an amazing place. You have uh, players from all over the world coming here. Uh, I was standing in line talking a little bit with a guy from uh, Djibouti. I don't know anybody else from Djibouti, but it was. Uh, it's 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 just so interesting, and you see players from you like uh, the Dominica. Uh, island. I never heard about that before. I, I saw the Corona statistics, and uh, and it's it's uh, so fun. And I was talking to a guy in the in the, in the press center, the media center, uh, who is a chess journalist, and <laughs> and I, I never met him before. But he has been a chess chess journalist for 25 years. He's an Indian, and uh, he's writing a daily chess column like I am in the Politiken and Jyllandsposten, and. Um, He's been doing uh, the, the 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 newspaper he's writing for is uh, in uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, has a circulation of 2.5 million people. So <laughs> you you get to 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 know a lot of, of of people and and the atmosphere is great. There is a Bermuda party coming up and that's a famous uh, party. It's it used to be organized by Bermuda. I don't. I haven't seen uh, Nigel Freeman around, so I don't think they are organizing it this year. I just think it's the name, it's the Bermuda party. Uh, but it is uh, it is a lot of fun to to be at a party with a lot of chess uh, enthusiasts from all over the world. It's just uh, you always, of course, you have something to talk about. You can ask them how they did. Um, but uh, but anyway, uh, it's it's just uh, great to to see that you have a Magnus Carlsen and then you have uh, um, girls from, uh, for instance, Uganda with uh, with braids and uh, and and uh, with the with the color of the flags and uh, and you have great uh, different uh, suits and so on. It's just it's just just a lot of fun. So. If you ever uh, have time for it, uh, you should go and sneak into the Bermuda party, even if you're not a Olympiad player or international team. Um, okay, what happened yesterday is I've had a, lots of internet problems, like a lot. Uh, like it's I, I just can't access the internet from my room uh, half of the time. Uh, so um, when I, after the team meeting, uh, I was going to. Uh, to send in the team composition because we changed the team and uh, and I couldn't because of the internet and then I and I tried for like an hour or something and um, and it, it didn't happen and uh, I, I should pro- of course have gone out and found some internet when I go around with my computer sometimes I get a signal and I can can get the the computer to to go online um, but but I didn't I was stupid I just said ah I could do it tomorrow and uh, in the morning the internet still didn't work. I said, ah, okay, uh, but I should do this team thing, and um, and then uh, <laughs> then I, uh, I went to the breakfast, and when I came back, I forgot all about it. I didn't send in the team, and I was doing the video when uh, Mass Anderson wrote here, we are playing one to four, and I was like, oh no, 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 no. So because it's so unprofessional, it's just like that's my main job is to send in the correct team okay it didn't turn out badly but it will of course have some consequences of some some sort um and i'm a little bit ashamed um i consider myself a professional and i hate not being professional so even though i had very difficult uh, situation with the internet it's still not really a good excuse uh, so that's how it is. Let's get into the game. This game, um, Hare Krishna explained about it in the, 
in the media room, uh, he, all the Indian players, uh, well, there are a lot of Indians uh, here, of course, it's India, but there are a lot of inter- Indian chess enthusiasts, a lot of Indian chess journalists, and when they finish the game, uh, the Indian players uh, from all from the different teams, they will go into the media room and they will have a microphone, they're like, and then it will, they will start and you're like, Come on, and then they will ask him some some uh, trivial questions, and uh, he will say that okay, I will play the good opening. I won. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, but the game was rather good, so uh, let's let's see it. It was on board one. Uh, I think India will not win the Olympics. Uh, the question is, is the US uh, up to the task? So far, they've seen like a little bit uh, like they're not really hungry, but I, I think they'll get into shape. Norway messed up already. They are seeded three, which is, of course, due to Magnus Carlsen's Gagakuchi and uh, rating. It, it will not, uh, they will not, they will not finish in top three. And uh, I, I think, okay, you heard it, heard it here first. They might not even finish in top 10. Okay, uh, because. Well, basically, the, the rest of the players are not uh, are not gonna cut it uh, when when they meet the strong teams. Uh, sorry. Well, Tari of course has become strong, but the the the, the, the last three, they they don't just have problems when they meet 26, uh, 60 guys and something like that, and they will meet that, those guys anyway. And Germany also stumbled yesterday, uh, which was was. Uh, Surprising. Anyway, let's see the game because it was a it was a nice game by Harry Krishna, and of course you can just sense um, uh, you can just sense the pressure these uh, Indians are under here with the with the <laughs> one billion eyes watching them. Um, this is will had turned into a um, Catalan, and it's a close Catalan. And knight c3 is uh, is a move you can play. Um, it's a little bit aggressive uh, compared to uh, to a lot of players play something like b3 here. Uh, or I prefer to have the knight on d2. And and this is 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 an aggressive system. White is planning to play uh, e4. You can say that White must be a little bit better because he has more space. He has a, a nice uh, bishop here, um, but black's position is, of course, very solid. There are no weaknesses at all at this point. So if nothing bad happens, uh, black should be fine. B6, um, of course, does create a weakness here, but you need to get this bishop out. This bishop is sometimes a bad, is a bad problem, but it could be quite good here. Black's plan is to be bishop a, a6 and sometimes and sometime b5, actually. But it could also be c5. It, uh, it depends. B3. And here, uh, Black decided to, to get some more space here. There are good things and bad things about this. Uh, it's, it's, of course, further ahead. It gives you more space. It gives you more uh, more uh, control over over the squares here. But it does also weaken B6 uh, and, and makes your position a little bit more... Um, Unflexible. Also, this square here can sometimes be a problem now that that the bishop, the pawn no longer can contest it. E4, natural move. Bishop A6, uh, obvious move somehow. Um, this one is 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 here, and White is is in a hurry to try and see if he can sort of uh, evacuate uh, the. <laughs> this uh, <laughs> this diagonal uh, e5 natural move and we have sort of a French structure here. Uh, white has much more space, but black is still very solid. If black can uh, can sort of fix the queen side and uh, get his pieces out without white starting a king side attack, he will be fine. Uh, white is of course uh, hoping to go after this guy. Uh, at some point, for instance, if the if the bishop was not here, then something like this. So this might sometimes make sense um, to 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 just start the attack on uh, on these. Aims. Also, this bishop, if you could get that into this diagonal, it would be nice. We know this from the French, but at the moment we have a, a problem here. And uh, oops, I was not correct. So uh, first consider that a4 prevents b5. Uh, Black was of course ready to play that as a pawn sacrifice as well because due to the the pin he's gonna get his pawn back and a lot of exchanges. And if all the plays on the queen side is to Black's advantage, 
nice e7 still ready going for for maybe uh, c5 maybe d5 rook d1 makes sense also here and ready to uh, to get the queen out of the way at some point h6 black plays this and white still goes h4 you could also have reversed it uh, it's, it's a natural thing the thing is with this constellation there's something to bite on for for white's pieces and black is um, is continuing with the plan of of playing b5 and um, and that's that's of course a very consistent uh, the problem for black is after this move which he plays and here here white is has now finally evacuated this one and he's basically hoping this this guy here will uh, shoot into thin air and not be able to do anything rook c8 makes a lot of sense again here the the queen is is a problem it is hoping to get to the king side and attack um this, the problem is something like this then maybe this move is 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 annoying all all these pins so you have to sort of find a way to to fix it and uh, and uh, Hare Krishna is not world class but he is extremely strong player and definitely uh, a 2700 player and he's he's very good at maneuvering in in different kind of situation and and setting up an attack and here he plays this move a uh, nice little move the idea is very simple uh, is that you only have one problem here and that is uh, is, is is the c file and now it is evacuated and you evacuate it without getting into another pin and basically this queen would love to sit here and attack sometimes you can even you can even go like this uh, to be honest uh, but but not here knight b6 uh, and that's a bit uh, the problem is black's play has run out of steam and uh, and he, he he should probably keep the knight here. I don't think you you because it's it's an important defensive piece for this uh, this square. And notice that you don't really want to do this because you will just get weaknesses on the e file. But knight b6 is getting a lot of pieces away from the the king side, and white is uh, of course ready. And we can just say just one move here and we just immediately sense that mm -mm, it's gonna be dangerous with this this guy coming here and this coming here and uh, and something like that so take and uh, and white takes with the with the with the knight uh, basically he's saying okay I just need two more moves and I'll have a really strong attack and and of course black is 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 a little bit desperate here here he really needs to start uh, defending uh, better than he did um, because after this move and this move he's almost already dead uh, and knight a8 trying to uh, he was going to try and get uh, something into the c file and here it's white to move and i'll give you uh, 30 seconds Of course, there are many good moves here. Actually, you can you can also take on h6 with the knight. Um, but I kind of like the way he played here. It's, 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 it's natural. Also, Heracles has a very natural flow. It's like you can you can just sense uh, the attack in his fingers. Um, I, I like when players uh, have have that. Sometimes I have it myself, but not very often, unfortunately. Okay, take. There goes a pawn, missing. Check. And um, check, all natural. Uh, it it doesn't matter if he plays queen h8 first. I can show you, like something like this. It will just be the same. Do something like this here, here, and we'll have the same position. Queen f4. Threatening mate in one move. King g7. Queen g4. Check. And one more time. Oops, sorry. You didn't do that. You're here. King g7. And here, one more time. White to move. Mm. 
See, you're not gonna take a draw. Uh, knight here, rook can defend. So you need you need a little bit more firepower. So which and this is a good uh, little exercise. Which piece is not participating in the attack? Well, the thing is, you would love to mate black here, but the queen does not have access to these two squares due to the pin. So what do you do? You remove the pawn. And what's the threat behind this move? The threat is very simple. It's, um, let's say you do something weird, knight something. Uh, then you just give a check. And queen e4 got the square, and this is a very serious problem. So uh, you can't defend. Very important attacking technique in positions like this. So um, that's the same problem with this move. Is, is, is check here and boom and this one is gone so you have to take and of course that's losing so black tries to uh, intervene but doesn't help but it's, 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 it's the best chance here and by the way this is a move you like to make in black in this structure like we know from the caravan when the bishop is outside the pawn chain and there's no problems on the queen side then it's of course much better for black because he gets much more uh, control over the white squares check smart little move and uh, the thing is of course you can't really uh, go anywhere here so you have to um, to go here and then there's just this move check and we see the same problem again uh, a, a typical finish could be something like this check 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 you have to, to move somewhere and here and boom and nothing to do here so very nice little attack by uh, harry krishna and he also he was pretty happy um in the in the, in the press center uh, of course a lot of of pressure on these guys uh, it's i think actually uh india too is 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 almost more interesting because uh, there they have uh, pragnananda they have gukas they have nihal sarin uh, they should also have this iraqi asi uh, guy he's uh, he but he's he came in in, in in India, one where they also have uh, the old guys like Vidit and uh, Sasikiran, and Sasikiran uh, was was the the former big prodigy uh, after after Anand. Uh, he was the first. Uh, then came uh, Neji, who was given up chess. I think uh, he wrote a lot of uh, chess books. Anyways, this was uh, GM talks from uh, the Olympiad. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this and please uh, leave your comments and uh, likes and sign up and all these things. Thank you for.